Today we're going to be taking a look at the best roof rack options available for your 2014 Subaru Forester. Now when choosing roof racks for your particular vehicle, I wanted you to keep in mind that this is going to be for the Subaru Foresters with factory raised side rails. These are going to be the top three options for that vehicle. Up at the top we have the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Roof Rack System. Here we have the Thule Aeroblade Edge Roof Rack System. And at the bottom we have the Inno Aero Bar Roof Rack System. The Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Roof Rack System consists of part numbers RRVA126B-2. Those are the Vortex Aero crossbars. Now this also comes in silver as part number RRVA126S-2. And then to attach it to your factory rate side rails, we'll be using part number RRSX005. And these are the SX series legs for the Vortex Aero crossbars. For the Thule Aeroblade Edge Roof Rack System, it's going to consist of part numbers TH7502-TH7502, meaning two of the identical bars. Now you can also get these in black as part number TH7502B-TH7502B. And finally with the Inno Aero Roof Rack System, it's going to consist of part numbers INXB100-2, those are the Inno Aero crossbars, and part number INXS100, and these are the Inno flush feet for the Aero crossbars. Now how all of these attach to your factory raised side rails are going to be a little different. For example, with the Rana rack at the top here, instead of going around underneath, it's actually going to clamp to each side of the factory raised side rail until you tighten it down completely. With the Thule, as well as the Inno Aero bars, we're going to have these rubber coated steel straps that wrap around. Now another difference between these bars, the Inno and the Aeroblade Edge are actually going to have more of a flush fit with your factory array side rails, while the Rhino racks, the bars are going to come out past your attachment points. Now this can be good and bad. For example, you're going to be limited to the space with your Thule and your Inno as to where you can put your accessories. However, with the Rhino rack, you can actually extend these out and make it longer bars to have more accessories to be able to put up on your roof as well. Now with all three bars, we're going to have these strips up at the top and that coupled with the aerodynamic shape of all three bars you're going to cut down a lot of wind noise and drag while you're driving. Now with the Thule as well as the Rhino if you wanted to use your T-Track systems to install those accessories you would have to remove the end caps and then actually remove the strips themselves install your accessories and then cut the strips to length to make them fit perfectly. However with the Inno all you have to do is remove the end cap and actually push that center strip down and slide your accessories in that way. Now another thing that the Inno Aero Rack has, it also comes with the locks installed onto their flush feet. Now with both Thule and Rhino Rack, the lock kits are sold separately. It actually has a built-in tightening device to secure it to your vehicle. With the Thule and the Rhino Racks, the tools are separate, but they do come with the kits. Now in conclusion, these are all great roof racks, but all of them have their advantages. For example, when it comes to weight capacity, both Thule and Rhino Rack are going to be at 165, while the NO is going to be a little bit less at 140, although always double check with your vehicle's manual to make sure your roof can handle those weights and you don't exceed both. For as far as ease of installation is concerned, the NO is going to take it on this one primarily because everything you need is right there with it. It tightens down and locks into place once you're done. Now while all three of these roof racks are able to have T-Track accessories put into them, the inner roof rack, you don't have to remove the strip in the center here and cut anything into place. You can actually just push that down and slide it in. So I think there's a slight advantage with Inno on this one as well. We hope this makes your buying decision easier for your Subaru Forester. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.